Hi besties, welcome back to my channel. So as you have seen with the title, today we'll be making chicken and mushroom pie. So over here, I've got all the ingredients that I'm going to be needing for the pie. So firstly, here we've got a chicken a la king um, dry, dry cook in sauce. And then we've got diced bacon, we've got one egg, we've got some cheddar cheese. Over here it's mixed herbs. And then here it's steak and chopped spice. And then we've got black pepper, we've got milk, salt, cooking oil. And then here I've got chicken strips. It was basic, it was actually um, one chicken breast. And then I've just cut it into strips like that. And then here it's half an onion and then I've got mushroom I've got I think I used four and then here we've got puff pastry over here so that's what I'm gonna be using to make the pie so yeah these are pretty much the ingredients that I'll be using to make this yummy yummy pie so just stay tuned so you can see all the steps that I'll be taking enjoy okay basically so over here i've got some mushroom bacon and onion i've also added salt so now what i'm going to be doing is adding my spices also try to make sure that you don't use spices that are going to like change the color of your of your chicken like something like curry powder you know yeah Just keep on stirring and stirring up until it cooks well. Make sure that the bacon um, is fully cooked. And also the bacon is optional. You don't necessarily have to add the bacon. Also, if you want more mushroom or more bacon, then you are welcome to add more bacon and mushroom. So yeah, just keep on turning it, browning it, maybe for about um, 10 minutes. Like it should also be on medium heat. So yeah, let me just add some black pepper. So just let it simmer a bit and then we're going to add in our chicken strips. So adding in the chicken strips. So this is how it looks like currently. It's about maybe 10 minutes later since I added the chicken. So it seems fine. So we just need to add some salt. Just so that there's some nice flavor.
Okay guys, so now I'm gonna prepare my ala king. So I just need to cut it. And then just add like, um, I'll tell you now. Okay, add like, since well, I won't be making a lot of pie, I added almost just over a quarter of the pack. And then I'm also going to add some milk. And then with the milk, just add maybe a quarter of a cup. Yeah, just add a quarter of a cup. And then, yeah, we're going to add this in the pan. And then if you feel like it's a bit too thick, you can add a bit, just like how mine is. And then just give it a good stir, mix it properly and thoroughly. And then we're going to go and add this into the pan. So you can see it's nice and dry, there's no water, nothing. And then make sure also that your heat is on low. Don't add it all at once, just add a bit and then just see how it looks like. And then you can continue to add some more. And then just stir it. It should thicken. And also remember you don't want it to be too watery. So yeah, but I know that it's going to be thick. So we'll just leave it a bit to simmer and thicken. And then we'll check it out. Also, I'm using cold milk. So that's why like the cooking has sort of like slowed down a bit because the milk is cold. So, but yeah, we just generally want to use cold milk and not hot milk. So yeah, just leave it a bit and then check it out after a few minutes okay guys so this is how it looks like it's literally maybe like three minutes since I added the sauce can you see how thick it is this is how you want it to be you don't want it to be any thinner than this so yeah it can just remain like this so this is the consistency that you want and like I said really have your heat on low because the chicken alakin thickens very quickly so i'm gonna go in and add some cheddar cheese because i like cheesy stuff <laughs> so yeah i'm just gonna add it in there so that it has that extra cheesy uh, flavor And then just mix it in. So now we're going to assemble the pies and then off into the oven. Okay, this is so here we've got our puff pastry. I've just taken it out of the 
plastic that it was in. Okay, this is so I rolled it out and then over here I've got my pan which is already greased with butter. And then now what we need to do is let me just get this one off as well. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make three pies. So I'm just gonna like uh let me see how big I want it to be. Over here, I'm just going to cut it. So now I'm coming in with my chicken that I've made. It's starting to be stiff. And then make sure that you leave some space on the side. Like don't don't let your filling go all the way to the edge of the pie of the pastry, a puff pastry, sorry. So sort of like leave maybe one centimeter on the Okay, so now let me just shift this aside a bit. So now we've got our pies like this. As you can see, okay, let me try close these. Okay, this one I can already see there's gonna be trouble. And then just Flatten it like that with your finger all around so that it can be secure. And then you just take your fork and then you just do this. And then you need to make some holes, poke it in like so, so that it gets some air out when it's baking in the oven. Now we need to give it an egg wash. So just, you need just like one egg with some milk and then just give it an egg wash and you are done now it's gonna go into the oven for 20 to 25 minutes and then it should be ready after that actually you also see 
when it becomes golden brown and then yeah it should be ready after that So you need to bake it at 180, 180, yeah, 180 for about 20 minutes and this is the selection that you choose, the two lines. And then yeah, I'll show you besties afterwards. So I just want to show you guys the progress of the pies. So this is how they look like. Can you see that? Let me zoom in for y'all. This is how they look. Look at that giant one on the left. Yeah. But yeah, they're coming all right. It's about 20 minutes later right now. So I'm just going to let them bake some more. So our pies are ready. This is how they look like. So over here we've got the giant pie. <laughs> Let me just turn this around. Yeah, so this is pretty much how they look like. We are completely done. Oh, but this one is so big. So you're just gonna let them cool down let them cool down a bit if you want them to be more browner than this then I guess you can also just leave them in the oven but for me these are fine I don't want them to be too brown so yeah okay basically so you need to just let the pies chill for a bit so that they can cool off and then because you know how hot a pie can be inside so you don't want to burn yourself when you're eating it so yeah let them cool off a bit and then you can get them off of the pan anyway thank you so much for tuning into my video I hope that you guys really enjoyed this video and yeah please don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel and you know i'll be bringing you more and more content love you guys bye